Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying these uh, Great Value Deep Dish Mini Pizzas. This, these are four pizzas in the box. This one is the cheese. We bought these, of course, at Walmart, which is a Great Value is a Walmart brand. Um, so these are frozen in the frozen section. And like I said, this is the four pack. I'm sure um, they have other ones. But anyway, we bought it at Walmart for $3.98. And uh, the only thing I've done is I cut the tape on the top so I could, wouldn't have to fight to, to get into it. So I'm going to open the package, then we'll, then we'll go over the package. All right, so they're little pizzas. It's pretty cool. There's no crisping tray that I see. Let me make sure. Nope. Just these. So I'm going to lay that to the side. Close this back up. All right, so they are 400 calories a piece. And there's the other info for you. Ingredients. Uh, microwave direction. So they do have oven directions. If you want to do it in the oven, you can do it in the oven by all means. Go for it. We don't do ovens on this channel, but we, there you go. So microwave. We're going to unwrap the pizza and place it on a microwave safe plate. Cook on high for two and a half to three minutes. Uh, product is done with cheese is mel melted. Carefully remove product from microwave and let it stand for one minute. Be careful it's hot. Microwave ovens vary, so time may vary. Um, may do you adjust. So, ah, and then it says if you have any uh, unused portion, like you didn't eat it all, put it in the refrigerator or throw it away. Um, so two and a half to three, I might, I'll go with two and a half at first, and if it's not, I might, um, I'll try a two and a half first. If it's not quite hot enough, I'll try another 15 seconds or so, but anyway, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna get this, um, I'm going to take it out of the plastic and put it on a plate. I'll just put it on a paper plate and I'll be back. Not much to look at, but here it is um, out of the microwave. When I was cutting it, I kind of tore my plate a little bit, but it's okay. Um, so there's not much to look at. It looks pretty much the same, except the cheese is melted. One thing I'm really impressed with is while I was heating up, you know, sometimes these pizzas, the cheese just turns to water and like runs off of them, like literally just all leaves. This one all stayed on top and it's all really good and bubbly. So uh, I'm going to let this sit for just a minute to cool off and I'll be back. I gave it just a minute to cool off, and it's probably still really hot, but let me, let me just go for it. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. It's not crispy on the bottom. I'm sure in the oven it would get crisper, but um, it is, it has a little crispness to it, but it's not like crispy, crispy. That makes any sense. Anyway. Very hot, which is a good thing. I ended up cooking it for 240 instead of 230 so i kind of went in between the two um flavors are okay it's not um i like the crust the crust has a little chew to it um it's got a little um a toughness to it a little chew to it not in a bad way just this is a little chew it's a little bready i guess is is the best way of saying it um if you kind of look at the side, you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the, um, let me see if I can, there we go. Uh, there's a lot of bread in there with very little topping. The topping's not all that thick. So you do get a lot of bread. Um, that being said, the flavors are kind of light. That, that's what's most disappointing is the, I like the crust. The crust is a little thick, but it's okay. Um, and it's a little chewy, but that's fine too. Um, on the, a little tough even, but uh, but like I said, that's all okay. I can be fine with that. My problem is the sauce and the cheese just really don't have a lot of flavor. I can tell the sauce is like a, a sweeter um, pizza sauce. And I got a little bit of that cheese flavor, but it's just not very strong. I don't by no means think this is a bad pizza. I think it's a good pizza. I just think you, um, getting your timing right in your microwave may take a little bit. I went to 240. I probably could have went with like 235 or so. And the bread, the crust may not have been quite so tough. Um, I don't know. If you put it in the oven, that's the best way to do it, of course. The oven's always going to be better. But um, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I do think it's good. I think it needs some, some seasoning on it. Maybe some... I don't know, just even if you had like nature seasoning or some garlic powder or something, just something to spice it up a bit because it's very, very, very plain. I guess this is made to where it appeals to more audiences that way when it's when it's not, doesn't have any real spice to it. Um, 
But for me, I think some nature seasoning sprinkle on top of this, which is a kind of all spice kind of mixture. Uh, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic, all kinds of different stuff. Um, if you were to put some of that on there, I think it would elevate the flavors a little bit. But um, as it is, it's still good. It's, it's still a three out of five. It's definitely worth trying out. And they're, they're frozen pizzas, you know, can't be perfect. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.